Hello once again, YouTube. Major Tom 2417 here with the start of another seasonal video series, The Twelve Days of Christmas. Now, this particular game isn't all that Christmassy, by my own admission, because Grand Theft Auto San Andreas takes place in a California analog, and there's not really a lot of snow in this game. But, some people might have fond memories of it, receiving it for Christmas, or playing it around that time of year. One second. <coughs> Ugh. I am, in fact, recovering from a cold at the moment. But, I figured it would be worth it to try and get this video out in time for the start of the 12 days of Christmas because today is the 14th and 12 days from now, or however many days from now, December the 25th, will be Christmas. So, one video per day until Christmas. Shouldn't be that hard, hopefully. In the meantime, what is the point of the 12 Days of Christmas video series? Simple. Very simple. Games that, to me, have a personal connection to the time of year of Christmas that I got for Christmas, that I played around Christmas time. <clears throat> or games that are themed around Christmas. Jazz Jackrabbit Holiday Hair, Jetpack Christmas Edition, that kind of thing. Now, some of you might be realizing and wondering why aren't you covering Sigil 2? That just released over the past weekend. And you're right. It did release over the past weekend. The problem is, my usual go-to source port for playing such things, GZ Doom, kept crashing. Every time I would reach the end of a level, bleh, error out, smash cut to desktop. Not fun. Not fun at all. I have found a different source port to use, DSDA Doom, which is apparently the favored source port of choice for speedrunners. I am not a speedrunner, but the source port does work on my computer unlike Nugget Doom, which didn't run at all because of some DLL file problems. Anyway. There will be a Sigil 2 series down the line, eventually. I haven't beaten Sigil 2 yet. I would like to at least play through the whole thing once and get a good idea of what I'm supposed to be doing before I start recording videos. So there's that. In the meantime... 12 Days of Christmas. I don't have a personal history with this game. But my brother, who you might remember from the Rosemary vs. Alley Demon vs. the Slayer DVD review, does have a history with this game. Except he doesn't have a history with the PC version. He got it on PS2. In fact, he had the entire PS2 trilogy at one point, and rather foolishly sold it. I say rather foolishly because the definitive edition that came out last year was... I hear it's better now, because they have patched it and fixed a lot of graphical issues, but still, the definitive edition of GTA 3 Vice City and San Andreas last year, when it was released, was far from the definitive experience, and was in fact a glitchy, bug-ridden mess. So, yeah. Just a reminder to devs out there, when you're calling something the Definitive Edition, make sure it doesn't completely suck before you give it that name. Okay? Anyway. For the rest of the 12 games of Christmas series, as I previously mentioned, I will be playing stuff that's appropriate to the holiday season. Stuff like... Jazz Jack Rabbit Holiday Hair, as I previously mentioned. Stuff like Jetpack Christmas Edition, as I previously mentioned. Possibly even Duke Nukem 3D Nuclear Winter. 
which isn't the best of the Sunsoft, or Sunstorm, sorry, Sunsoft is completely different. Sunsoft were the ones that did the Sunman game on the NES that was supposed to be a Superman game, but they didn't have the license, or they lost the license, or something like that. So they had to basically change the Man of Steel into the Man of Sun, with a mask, a different color scheme, etc., etc. So there's that. Sunstorm Interactive are the ones who did all the Duke Nukem 3D add-ons, like Duke Caribbean, Life's a Beach, Duke It Out in DC, and I think they were also the ones that did Nuclear Winter. That 18-wheeler just rammed into my car from behind. Why? And now I'm being not chased, but it's just something. I don't want to go back to Los Santos, you stupid taxi! I'm actually trying to drive considerately for once, and everyone else is being idiots. Wonderful. Is it because I'm recording? That all these motorists are just being completely insane? Ramming into the car and all this stuff? I don't know. <sighs> anyway... So yeah, this is how GTA San Andreas looks on my computer. It looks amazing. It actually runs. And, unlike Silent Hill 3 and Manhunt, this thing actually records. <laughs> because as you'll remember from Spooktober, I was going to end with driving around in this game, suddenly getting into a heinous crash, and then smash cutting to Silent Hill 3 or Manhunt. But the big problem was, neither of those two games would record, which is why we had the advanced horror video as the end of Spooktober. So, there's that. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to get this video out today to have something to start off the 12 days of Christmas. So, yeah, hopefully you all enjoy it. And I have the sound turned off as I'm recording, so I don't know what CJ is yelling at people whenever the car gets run into. I'll go over and post, and he just yelled something there, probably, because that stupid taxi... ...just decided to ram into the car's rear bumper, fender, whatever. I'll go over it and post. But anyway, this isn't even a ten minute video yet, is it? I don't know. And there's the meter detailing progress with one of CJ's many love interests, or potential love interests. But, yeah! Here's hoping that you all have a wonderful 12 days of Christmas, and a wonderful Christmas day when that comes around. Thank you all so much for liking, commenting, watching, and subscribing. I am so glad I did not get involved in that pileup back there. This is Major Tom 2417. Signing out. Will the car land wheels up? Yes, it. Nope. Whoop. Yes, it did. This is Major Tom 2417. Signing out.